What is up, guys? Welcome into another hypothetical test simulation. Something that couldn't happen in the real world, but we try in Cricket 24 to see how it gets on. Now, today we've got Australia of current day, current day Australia versus the 2000s Australia. I'm excited about this one. Two very, very good teams. I mean, this Australia 2000 team is probably the best I've ever seen personally. But before we get into it, guys, if you could leave a like on the video, subscribe if you haven't already. It does massively help out the channel. Get straight into it and see how we get on. All right, Toss goes up. Cummins and Ponting are the captains. Australia 2000s call heads. They win the toss, and on a medium and dry one, they are going to the bowl. Interesting choice. All right, Kawaja and Smith to open up. Glenn McGrath to get us started with day one of the first test. He's into Kawaja and Kawaja defends and it will be no run. And after 20 overs, Australia are 70 for three. Uh, Brettley's got one of them. Kawaja's still there. So Smith, Labashane and Green are all out. I couldn't remember who was still there then. All right, Australia 152 for seven. This isn't going to go. This isn't going well. Warren's got four for 39. Um, just absolutely flying through them at the moment. I mean, this is almost embarrassing. Quick look at the scorecard. Kawaja top scoring with 53. Head got 36. Green got 21. And Mitch Mars got 23. They are really struggling. There it is. Current day Australia are bowled out for 227 after 82. They actually put on a pretty good last wicket partnership. They were 185 for 9. Ended up 227 for 10. Hazel would put on 23 of those. Um, Warren ended up taking six. I mean, some performance from him. It really was. Stark is going to open the bowling for Australia of today. Hayden and Langer will open the batting for the 2000 side. Stark's in first ball, short one, and left alone. Right, 21 overs gone. A very, very similar situation to what the current day Australia side was, what position they were in. Oh, and he's just played it onto his stumps. Hayden's gone now. Hazelwood gets his first wicket. Imagine that. We literally stop the simulation as a wicket next ball. Bottom edge onto the stumps. That's got to hurt. Hayden goes in Australia. 2079 for four. 51 overs in. Lions got one for 16. Uh, Australia 2000s are 182 for seven. Brett Lee and Michael Clark are into bat. I mean, it could be close. It could be very close. And there it is, Australia 2000s are bowled out for 220. So Australia current day will go into the second innings with a lead of seven. Uh, top score, Michael Clark with 47. Gilbert's got 35. Nothing else to write home. The bowling kind of split between them. Stark, the other pace is a couple. Lion one, I believe. First ball from Glenn McGrath uh, to Kawaja. What's going to happen here? Lead by seven. It has really ended up as a kind of two innings game. Large drive, straight to mid off. 32 overs gone. There was a bit of a collapse. Um, but Lavashane and Head have kind of righted the ship a little bit. 111 for three. Warren's got one already. I mean, he is absolutely flying through this attack at the moment. And Australia current day bowled out for 255 just before lunch on day three. Uh, Lavashane was 74. Travis Head next high saw with 39. Lion 37. They are really getting contributions from the uh from the lower order, and it is massively helping them. Uh Glenn McGrath took two, Brett Lee took two, Shane Warren took two, and Gillespie picked up three for his seven overs. Um Australia 2000s will require 263 runs to win. It's a good game, this a low scoring one, but it is close. After just about 25 overs, Australia 2000 are 89 for one into their chase of 263. It's looking pretty simple at the moment. I mean, they've taken a massive chunk out of it, the opening partnership, as Ponting smashed his first ball for four. 48 overs gone. We are at the start of day four. Australia 2000, 177 for two. They are showing their class at this point. Ponting 55, not out. Damian Martin 22, not out. Aiden and Langer got them off to a pretty good start. It looks like they should chase this down now. Here's Australia 2000s take the first test and they win by five wickets. Ponting with an 83, Damian Martin with a 56, not out. Player of the match was Shane Warne for his, I believe he got a six foot and a two foot. Played pretty well. 
Right, here we are at the toss. I think I've left David Warner in this time. I think that might be a slight issue, but it is what it is. Um, Australia win the toss on hard and standard one, and they are going to have a bat, surely, at the MCG. They're going to have a bowl. An interesting choice. Australia 2000s, 118 for one. That choice of bowling first isn't looking great from Pat Cummins at this point. Um, they could do with a couple more wickets. Okay, 211 for four. Starks just picks up his second. Um, Hayden ended up getting to his ton. He was out for 112. Other short balls are left alone. All right, just after I believe the new ball's been taken. Um, Lyon picks up his first up 19 overs. Australia 2000s. 311 for six. Warns in with Gilchrist. There it is. Australia 2000s bowled out for 348. Looks like a pretty good score after being put in. Um, it's just at the start of day two. So the game's moved on pretty quickly. Just shy of 100 overs they faced. Um, Hayden top scored 112. Uh, start picking the bowlers three for 63. Uh, 34 overs gone? 34.4 gone. Glenn McGraw's got three. He's gone through the uh, the top order pretty well. Was Australia 128 for four? They're going to need to get at least close, probably 300. Here we go. Glenn McGraw ends up walking off with the match ball, taking six for 62. Uh, Kawaja top score with 45 as Australia bowled out for 197. Um, about 150 shy of the Australia 2000s first inning score. They've got a lot of work to do here. This could be 2-0 to the Australia 2000 side. Nearly 35 overs gone. Um, Australia 2000s are 119 for four. They were 119 for one. Um, Lions on a hat-trick. That's plum. That's out. That is a hat-trick ball for Lion. And Australia 2000s have just gone for 119 for one to 119 for five. And there's an absolute collapse. Nathan Lyons got a hat-trick. I mean, you don't get more out than that, surely. I mean, he's on the back foot. Hussey goes. The Lions got four now? All right, Australia, 2,000s. Bowled out for 233. Top score. Uh, who was it? Langer with 44. I mean, there was a real collapse in the middle. 119 for one to 119 for five is really, really rough. Who picked up the wickets? That's my question. Uh, Stark got two, Hazelwood got one, Green got one, Cummins got two, and Lyon picked up four with a hat-trick in the middle. That means Australia of now only 385 to win. Would be a really good chase. Um, 36 overs gone. David Warner's on 83. Shouldn't even be playing in this test. I left him in the side, but they're making good work of this run chase. 126 for two. Um, I don't know how long they can keep it up for, but it's looking okay as it is. Uh 71 overs gone. Travis Head 48 for off 92. Lions 3 off 18. Gillespie's into bowl. Australia 244 for 6. They still need 140. Only 4 wickets left. I think it's a valiant effort. But I think 2000 should tidy him up. There it is. Australia 2000s win by 83 runs. Australia bowled out for 301 in the end. David Warner top scored. But Shane Warne took 6 for... Brett Lee picks up man of the match. I'm not 100% sure what for. A three for and a, and a four for? Interesting. I mean, the Warren took six for 106 as they were chasing down that total. I probably would have given it to him. We are at the Adelaide Oval today. Australia 2000 score heads. Every team that's won the toss so far has chosen to bowl, which is interesting. On a hard and dry one, Australia 2000s are going to have another bowl three times in a row. I thought you won the toss and batted first in Australia. I thought you, you got you got hung. Um, hanged. Whatever the, the right terminology is. If you won the toss and chose to bowl. I thought it was just ridiculous. But McGraw is into Kawaja again. On his legs. Flicked and cut off by short mid-wicket. Fully over has gone. Uh, Shane Warne into bowl. He's got two for. Cameron Green is on strike. Travis Head is at the other end. Australia of current day. 129 for four. That's Pulled and stopped again. Really need to get a better score here. 215 all out. Marnus Labashain with a high score of 47. Cameron Green just behind him with 46. Uh, Gillespie took four. Warren took two. Lee took three. And this isn't looking very positive. If you want Australia of current day to win, they again fall for a low 200 score. Uh, all the overs gone. 
Australia 2000 is 179 for two. They trail by 36 with eight wickets remaining. Martin's there with 21. Hayden's on 88, not out. Could he be going for back-to-back -to -back tons here? He really could be. 87 overs gone. It's not looking good. Um, Australia 2000, 356 for four as that's late cut straight to slip. And it's not a catch. Australia 2000s end up a 453 all out. Clark got 90. Hayden got 128. Uh, who picks up the wickets? Green got two. Cummins got two. Lyon got one. Labashain got one. He bowled 26 overs, more than Lyon. Um, and Hazelwood picked up two. Um, I mean, this could be an innings. This really could be an innings, this one. 29 overs gone. Uh, Australia, 98 for three. Warner's on 42. Travis Head's on 24. They still trail by 140. I'm not sure that's a shot from Warner, but he'll get it through and it will go for four. Good shot. Uh, Australia bowled out for 252. Travis Head ended up actually getting a ton. Warner got 53, and then absolutely nothing from the rest of them. McGraw and Lee both got one. Warn and uh, Gillespie shared one apiece. Um, Australia 2000, the 14 runs, 15 runs to win. They should knock this off pretty quickly. There it is, in three overs. And Australia 2000s win by 10 wickets, and they go 3-0 up. It looks like the old kind of legacy teams are a lot better um, than the current day teams, as we saw in the 2005 versus Basball game. Right, we are at Optus Stadium today for the fourth test. Um, Australia 2000s for heads again. Uh, they win the toss again. That's three out of one, and on a medium grassy one, they're going to have a bowl again. They are going to have a bowl. Four games in a row, someone's won the toss and had a bowl. Um, just over 30 overs gone. Really 86 for five. Carrying header at the crease. I mean, it's really not looking good. I mean, they've got worse as the series gone on. They really have. Got a bit of a fight back from the tail. Um, they were 96 for seven and end up getting up to 187. Lyon with 24, Cummins with 36, Stark with 25, and Hazelwood with 11. It's the bowlers helping out again, but the back just aren't doing anything. Brettley ended up picking up five. McGrath and Warren shared two between them. Um, this looks like it might be an innings. Uh, they were 114 for no loss. Uh, Australia 2000s are now 120 for two. Lang is still there on 60. Lyon picked up two of the wickets. They only trail by 67, though. You know, they were 170 for three, and they've collapsed and, and all out for 250. Australia have done well there. Stark with two, Hazelwood with three, Lyon with three, Cummings with none. Labashain with one and Green with one. Uh, Langer did get a ton. A ton. Um, but this is close. It's only a lead of kind of 65. And with 31 overs gone, and Australia of current day are 98 for two. It's not terrible. They have got a lead of 35 with eight wickets in hand. Smith and Kawadra looking good at the crease. This might be a little bit more interesting than it looks. I didn't go as well as I thought it might. Um, there was a bit of a middle order collapse. Got well, out for 258. Not terrible. You've left 196 for Australia 2000 to chase. I'd imagine they would do, but it might be a little bit harder than they think. And 20 overs gone. Australia 2075 for three. Things there, 43 not out. But another wicket soon, and it might get a little bit interesting. The 121 needed. All right, 35 overs gone. Australia 2000, 131 for seven. They've got three wickets left. No recognised batsman there. And they still need another, what, 64 runs? Be close. We'll check it back in five overs time. All right, Warren's gone. He ended up putting on 29. Lions got another wicket. Australia 147 for eight. They still need 39 with two wickets remaining. That's driven for no run. And there it is. Australia 2000s are bowled out for 158 after I was thinking of their first innings that they'd lose by an innings. But they've actually won a game. Maybe they go it's 3 1 in the series. They still can't come back. But a bit of pride. They'll take some moral victories. I know they like them over there. Um, but Australia win by 37 runs. Right, here we are. Final match of the series. We are at the Gabba today. Australia 2000s called Tails. Change it up a little bit. Um, they win the toss again. Four out of five they have won. Um, and on a hard, dry one, they're going to have a bowl again. Five out of five times they've won the toss and had a bowl. 
30 overs in, uh, 104 for three. Gillespie's just picked up his first and brought Travis Head to the crease. Labashane is 33 off 63. Uh, Kawaja got 13, Smith got 32, and Cameron Green got 25. There it is, a kind of another collapse from, uh, what, 104 for two to 173 all out. Um, it, yeah, not great. And there was a little bit of a fight back from the tail as well. Top score of Marlis Labashain with 34. Uh, all the bowlers kind of split the wickets between them. And again, it's another terrible score from Australia. 43 overs gone. Uh, Australia 2001, 64 for three. They trailed by nine with seven wickets remaining. Um, there was a bit of a collapse from them last time. So maybe, maybe that could happen again. 88 overs gone. There wasn't the collapse. Australia 2000s, 317 for 7. We've even got Brett Lee down at the lower order, smashing 24 from 44. Hussey's on 62. Um, and there it is. Uh, Australia 2000s, bowled out for 401. Hussey with 107 red. Aiden with 67. Damian Martin with 93. Uh, Cummins picked up 4, which was nice. Lyon got 2. Lavishain got 1. Hazelwood got 1. Stark got 1. And Cameron Green got one. Uh, 40 overs gone. This pitch got a little bit easier to bat on by the looks of it. Um, 139 for two. They still trail by 89. There is a massive deficit they've got to try and bring back. But looking like they could do it. They couldn't do it. Starts from a lot of players. Kawaja 39, Smith 25, Labashain 47, Cameron Green 52, Head 30, Carey 19, Lyon 19, Cummins 13. Stark with 11, and Hazel with the last man out for two. McGrath picks up four, Warm picks up three, Gillespie picks up three, and they require 32 runs to win this. They should do this pretty easy. Uh, there it is. Uh, 33 for two. They win by eight wickets, and they take the series 4-1. It's kind of where I would have put it. Um, maybe a 3-2 to the Australia 2000s, 4-1. Um, but I think that's where it's roughly probably going to be. All right, looking at the batting and the bowling statistics, um, Hayden top scored um, with an average of 60. He scored 545 runs for the series. Travis Head was the next best batsman with 388 and an average of 38.8. Uh, Bowling-wise, Lee took the most wickets with an average of 18. Warren had 27. McGraw had 22, and then... From the current day Australia team, current Cummins and Lyon with 18 and 17 apiece. Um, it was pretty dominant from the 2000 side in the end. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I very much hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to leave a like. Please remember to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.